I think we're finally exiting this area, which is just fine with me. Don't listen, Sebastian. Don't let him do it to you. It's obviously Theodore. I'm trying to guilt you. I'm trying to mess with you. Oh, after all this, you still want to be reunited with Lily? I... I do. I... I need to find her. Fine. Then come to me. That's what I've been trying to do. You're just making it excessively difficult. Because you're like that. Ooh. Okay. I really hate <laughs> all these giant statues that he has stashed everywhere. Because they're just making me really paranoid that I'm missing all the little ones. So paranoid, guys. And I can't wait until somebody shows up with a timestamp of when one was, like, on my screen and I didn't notice it, because I know that's going to happen. Lily, is it really you? No. Lily. Huh, weird. No. Who saw that coming? Lily! There she is. Your precious daughter. Isn't this what you wanted? Dad. You let this happen to me. Why didn't you save me? No. Please. I, I couldn't. I wanted to. of the past unless you join me. do that and i can make your dreams come true together we can take lily from my life. once i have the power of the core you will be truly free it will take more than bullets to stop me will you never learn oh you sh shot me Sebastian, why? No, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Torres. Oh, Theodore, you bastard. Come on, man. Let me get you out of here. She's carrying me out with a bullet wound. Sebastian, get up. We gotta help her, man. Sebastian, get up. You can't let him get to you. You gotta... You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are, you all right? Are you all right? You've been working too hard. It's making, it's making you delirious. delirious. <sighs> Myra? <sighs> Torres, where? I'm home. How did I? 
Are we trapped in our own mind now? I bet you that's the case. This game is falling back into the habits of the first game where <laughs> we're just teleporting around to different places. So much obscurity in the story. Now we're here, now we're there. Also, Theodore just totally tricked us into shooting Torres, and she's probably gonna die now. And it's gonna be... Well, it's gonna be Theodore's fault, but Sebastian's gonna blame himself. That's clever. He's a clever bastard. He really got us. Alright, we gotta search this house, guys. Maybe we'll find the key. <laughs> Not a, a statue key, but, you know, the key to, uh getting over ourselves here and going after Theodore for real okay well here's Lily's room I don't know if we want to go there straight off maybe we want to look at some other areas first like in here oh, oh look at this look at this guys mysterious symbol you feel like you've seen this before but you can't quite put your finger on when or where that was yeah, so, um, that one I know. That is the symbol from Elder Scrolls. That's cool. Elder Scrolls, obviously a Bethesda published game. Great game, great series of games. I really liked Oblivion and Skyrim. I never did play, um, Morrowind or any of the older ones, but I've, I've been told that they're very good as well. I buried myself in work so hard. If I could only get some of that time back, I'd spend it with them. Yeah, hindsight's twenty twenty, Sebastian. That's one thing everybody must learn as they get older. But you know what? There's not much point in having regrets. All they do is hold you back, because you can't change the past. Well, maybe in a weird sci-fi psychological horror game like this you could, but in real life you can't. <laughs> Alright, Lily's room. Let's see what's waiting for us in here, guys. Lots of art on the walls. Uh, is that supposed to be a tree? I think that's a tree with a swing on it, and the tree is smiling. And then, then I don't know what the hell Sebastian and Myra are doing. Are, are they, like, holding a blanket that she's jumping on? It's hard to tell. Kids' artwork is so shitty. Lily's realm. Just the way it used to be. The way I wish it had stayed. Oh, looky, looky. Photographic slide. Awesome. 10 out of 11, guys. We're almost there. I really hope that this is the next sequential one, because then that would mean that all we have is the last one. But if this is the last one, then we missed one, and I'll be so sad about that. <laughs> um, I guess that's really all we got in here. Can I look out the window? There's the old station wagon. Old reliable. Alright. I guess that was the whole reason to come into this room. Which I'm okay with. I really like those photographic slides. They're a nice collectible. This game has nice collectibles. They feel meaningful, you know? Or just fun. It's really important. Really? Alright, Ghost Lily ran that way. That means I'm going back here. <laughs> Hello? Huh? Uh, for a second I thought I was going outside. And I was like, oh my god. Yeah guys, it's super important for a game to have good collectibles. That's what I like so much about Assassin's Creed 4. The fact that you could collect those sea shanties and your crew would actually sing them on the boat. That was a great idea. Those are like my favorite collectibles of all time. This game doesn't quite hit that. But it still does a pretty good job. Wedding photos. Happier times. Look how young and handsome I was. And I guess Myra looked okay too. Myra. What an incredible woman. She really could do it all. No wonder she was able to infiltrate Mobius. Once she set her mind to something. She wouldn't stop. Not like me. Well, apparently you used to be that way. You just couldn't keep it going. Let's check out this. 
china plate over here. That's got to be expensive, right? Bet you we could pawn that off for a lot of upgrade goo. Get all the upgrades. The hell is that? <laughs> is it? <laughs> okay. I know this isn't what it is, but as I look at that picture, I can't help but think that it looks like a birth picture. Like a baby coming out feet first through the birth canal, and just like, uh. I'm not about that. Um, alright, so we've wrapped around. Can we go outside? No. Where the hell do we go from here, guys? Probably have to find something to examine. Aha, uh -huh. here's a document on the table. That letter. Myra's last communication. It was hidden with her files. It sounded so crazy at the time. But I should have believed her. My dearest Sebastian. If you've received this letter, then I fear the worst has come to pass. It means that my investigation got too close to the truth. It means that you may never see me again. I'm sorry I kept it from you, but it was to protect you. From either the truth or my madness. I've enclosed a copy of my files. I only hope that you never receive them, but if you do, it's up to you to finish what I started. Please. Find justice for Lily, and for me. I love you with all of my heart, Myra. I'm so sorry, Sebastian. You've endured so much. All this time, all alone. It's my fault. You tried to tell me. But I didn't believe you. And now I'm so messed up. I'm talking to an hallucination. I couldn't save Lily from the fire. I failed everyone. That's not true, Sebastian. There was no fire to save her from. You know this now. But I couldn't protect her. How could you? Mobius are a force of nature. What you're doing... It's like blaming yourself for an earthquake. It wasn't your fault. You have to stop torturing yourself. You're a good man, Sebastian. That's why I married you. And this time, you can save her. <laughs> Denied. There are too many forces against you. You have to stay strong. Don't let the past defeat you. I forgive you. And Lily will too. But the most important thing is that you forgive yourself. Forgive? Yourself. Uh, 
She's right. She's always been right. Theodore uses my own guilt against me. But guilt for what? It's their fault, not mine. They took everything from me. I didn't start any of this. But I'm gonna finish it. And God help anybody that stands in my way. Hmm. A knock at the door. This is some really poignant shit, guys. Okay, which door is Wake being knocked up, at? Sebastian. Whoa. Spiritual awakening. Hoffman? What happened? Oh no. She brought you here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I tried to save her, but... I shot her. The bullet wound was superficial. She died from injuries sustained in a battle with those things. Yeah, because she was weak from being shot. She didn't have to die like that. She was a good soldier. She just wanted to save Lily. And now she's dead. It's all my fault. Again. Damn it, Sebastian, have you learned nothing? No, Sebastian. It's not your fault. Don't let him do this to you. You're right. That goddamn son of a bitch. This is what he wants. Trying to make me feel guilty. But he's the one who did this. Not me. He's the guilty one. Okay. It's time to clean house. I've just got to find Theodore. That's not the problem. Destroying Liam's machine worked. Theodore's out there in the open now. The problem is getting to him. What do you mean? I picked this up on the exterior surveillance system cameras. Have a look. Theodore's stronghold appeared in the middle of Union. But it's surrounded by what looks like a massive wall of fire. Shit. I won't be able to get through it. I think that there may be a way. I found a device in Liam's equipment room that should be able to help. Great. Let's see it. It's not quite ready. I still have to do a few tweaks. Okay. Go do what you have to do. I remember there being a hotel near there. I'll go check if it's safe, then send you the coordinates. You can meet me there with the device. Okay, I'll see you soon. Wow, so much just happened, guys. Chapter 13, Stronghold. Okay, so we're back in Hoffman's safe house? I guess Torres carried us back here. Make your way through the remains of Union to reach Sanctuary Hotel in the Business District. Well, good thing I've already cleared that whole place out. <laughs> and looky looky, guys. Oh man, I wish the circumstances were better, but <laughs> looks like we get Torres's assault rifle. I'm sorry, Esmeralda. I'll make sure you didn't die for nothing. I'm gonna hunt him down like the dog that he is. Assault rifle. This automatic weapon uses standard rifle ammo. It packs a punch, but burns through ammo quickly. Much like the flamethrower, I guess. I am very happy to finally have that, though. Almost certainly gonna end up using that before the end of this game. Wait, there was more stuff to take there? Oh, we're taking all her stuff. Okay. Well, first things first. Since the slushy machine is on a timer, I should really hit that up right now. Feels like it's been forever since I had a slushy, guys. We've been going through a lot of stuff. And I gotta say, uh, I'm really happy with the poignancy of the story in this. It's so much better than the first game, it's not even funny. But that whole sequence is really good. You know, just a lot of character development for Sebastian, and um, I just, I hope it continues to pan out. Now, let me go ahead and pop a save right here. 
All right, now there's a lot of things I want to look at. Oh, look. There's a few sitting right there that I never picked up. Is there anything else that has uh, maybe repopulated around this spot? Um, no, no, we're going back out into a place that we don't really need to be going to right now. Although, over here we do have a medical syringe that I never picked up. How do I get to that room? Is it just right up around here? I think this door was locked last time I came here. Oh, now we're good. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. We're gonna head back this way. We should see if we can talk to Yukiko. There may be some dialogue there. I should hope so, actually, with everything that's gone down in the last couple hours. How you doing, girl? A few more things, Hoffman. Theodore's tricks. Theodore's been messing with my mind. Every time I see him, he uses my own nightmares against me. That sounds like him. He's a master of neuro-linguistic programming. And in here, the linguistic part becomes irrelevant. Why talk when you can get straight into your mind? He almost had me. But I searched inside myself, and there was someone there. Someone who told me what I needed to do. I know I can take him on now. Yes. I can see that you're ready. How did you... Right. The, the team, team psychologist. psychologist. <laughs> uh... Esmeralda might have lived if she didn't try to save me. Don't feel guilty. We talked while I tried to save her. She told me about the plan. She wanted it to succeed. She made the decision to get you. She knew the risks and did what she thought was right. She said that she owed you. Owed me? For what? We just met. Esmeralda is the operative who took Lily from your home and burned it down. Oh! She's felt guilty ever since. That's why she joined Myra. That's why she risked her life to save you. What? Don't hate her, Sebastian. She didn't have a choice at the time. And she did everything she could to make it right. I can't hate her. She sacrificed herself for the plan. She made her amends. Guys, I have a question for you. Who called that shit? Was it you? Was it me? I'm pretty sure it was me. I'm pretty sure I'm the one who called that shit. Nice try, video game plot. You can't get one over on me. Other than all the other ones you've gotten over on me in this game. Shut up. Alright, let's start from the back and work our way up, guys. Oh, I didn't even kick that one. I just, like, threw my elbow into it. That was, that was cool. So we've got all these now. I wonder how many more there could be. Honestly, it looks like there's space for, like, four more still. That is a lot of items. So that's cool. Father Theodore, um, probably nothing new there. Oh, look, there's a big question mark over uh, Julian Sykes. <laughs> I told you to be careful with that thing, Sykes. Hope you made it out. Yo, we better get an answer on that, I swear to God. Didn't want to kill him. But Theodore left me no choice. Yep. He's pretty good about that kind of stuff. He, he's a really crafty enemy, guys. We're gonna have to be careful with him. There's probably nothing new on these other two bros. Right. Okay. And nothing else in here, right? Ah, we should be good. <laughs> Fuck you, door. Get out of my face. Alright, we've got a slide to look at. Please be not the last one. Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna find them all, guys. That's gonna happen. Kidman. Yes, Sebastian? What are you thinking about? Lily. Everything that's happening in here is because of her. Everyone wants her. Like she's just some object to be owned. She's the real victim here. Poor thing doesn't know what it's like to live a normal life. All these years with Mobius have probably destroyed her innocence. She's still a sweet little girl. I hope so. Her youth was stolen from her. She didn't get a chance to go to school. 
To have friends. All the birthdays and holidays she missed. It's heartbreaking to think of what she's been through. Lily was always so precocious. So smart and observant. She had this way of looking at you. Where you knew that she understood you. Not just what you were saying, but what you were feeling, too. I always knew she was special. But I thought it was just because she was my daughter. Lily is special. She was found because of her off-the-chart scores on her standardized tests. I keep referring to her in the past tense. It still doesn't seem real to me that she's alive. And in here. She is. But you've got to save her before you can start to rebuild your relationship. I'm here to help. Just let me know what I can do for you. Hmm. Okay. I was gonna say, yeah, she is... You do think that she's special but just because she's your daughter, but then Kevin had a good point. Like, I guess that was... No goodies for me this time, huh? Huh? Where's my upgrade gear, cat? What are you doing to me? Where the fuck are you going? Get back here. What is it? You want me to follow you? Uh, what's going on here, guys? Okay. Kitty's leading me to the upgrade chair. What? You want me to sit in the chair? Congratulations, Sebastian. You've almost completed the inner journey that you began so long ago. You have faced down your own demons. You have risked great harm to emerge triumphant. But there is still a memory that you've refused to confront. What do you mean? Oh my god. It's the last slide, guys. They just give it to you. Here. This will help you. Oh, that's sexy. Photographic slide. Thank you, Tatiana and Kitty. I really appreciate that. Wow. All right. I guess I don't get any upgrade goo for it, but eh, that's okay. I guess this is a better reward. <laughs> and I don't have to worry about missing it. This is the memory we've refused to confront, huh? Okay. This is... Oh, it's Joseph! Oh, you know, guys, I've been meaning to talk about him. He was our partner from the first game, and he's kind of like the only thing from the first game that hasn't really been referenced at this point. So I was wondering if he was going to come into the story at all. And frankly, I don't remember what happened to him. I don't remember if he's even still alive or not. Uh, I guess we're about to find out, so here we go. Joseph. My partner. My friend. Sebastian? Calling back so soon, what's up? After all this time, there's something we've never talked about. Sounds ominous. What is it? Not what. Who? Joseph. Right. I know that you respected Joseph and that he felt the same way towards you. I never had the opportunity to make amends about that. Things were confusing after Beacon. I should have tried to get answers about what happened. I mean, I know what happened. Don't worry, I can't fault you for what you did. But I still blame myself for his death. You don't have to do that, Sebastian. Why not? You'd prefer that I blame you? You're the one who actually killed him. No, I didn't. I saw you shoot him, Kidman. I know you did, but... But what? Joseph isn't dead. Oh! What? Are you... No. It can't. What happened to him? Where is he? That's a long story. And a conversation for another time. When we're both safe. Just know that you don't have to blame yourself for his death anymore. I've gotta go, Sebastian. Let's finish this and we can talk later. Yeah. You bet we're gonna talk later. <laughs> the Evil Within 3 starring Joseph Oda. <laughs> That's gonna be the story of that game. Oh, Kitty, you brought me two bottles of Upgrade Goo to make up for the last one. Wow, thank you. I'm sorry I shit-talked your whole 
roll with that. That was, that was very stand-up of you. You are a good kitty. I never even really gave you a name because I don't care about cats. I can't think of a good cat name. But you know what? You've served me well, and I appreciate it. Great. All right, so before I forget, we're going to pop back here, and we're going to buy that upgrade. Welcome back, detective. Thanks, nurse. You should have some new dialogue, right? We haven't been here for a while. I sense you're preparing for something you're afraid of. I'm only afraid of failing. If I don't succeed... Then you will have sacrificed yourself for a good cause. If I sacrifice myself, there's no one to finish this. Sacrifice means you've lost. Sometimes. Sometimes it's what's needed to complete the task at hand. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Oh. Is that a little bit of foreshadowing there? I'm gonna have to sacrifice myself to save Lily from STEM. I mean, I'll do it, I guess. Um, Alright, well, since we have a sexy new crossbow pouch, we should be able to pick up all of these. Nice. And we do have one key to spend, guys. And let's go for this one. Oh, hey! Medkit! <laughs> awesome! That's actually a pretty good pickup. I was going to craft one of those when I was done here, but now I won't have to. Right, we've got 75,000. We're going to the combat tree. And we're switching to the D-pad, because trying to navigate this with the stick is, like, impossible. <laughs> oh, this was 75,000. I thought it was 65 for some reason, because I'm an idiot and I forget things really quickly. But, yeah, we do just barely have enough to get this now, so... Spend that red gel and synaptic focus. Press triangle while aiming to concentrate and slow down time. Press triangle again to end the effect. This skill consumes stamina while active. Right, so with that in mind, I also want to check our... Um, what is it? Athleticism? And, yeah, we do have one more... Stamina upgrade that we can get, which is 12,000. We should probably get that next because that'll give us the maximum amount of synaptic focus to use, right? It stands to reason. And then in stealth, I haven't really been in this tree for a long time. Um, low profile 2, footsteps make even less noise. And then there's low profile 3, which is even less noise. I can't believe I only have the first level of this and I'm doing so well with stealth. Um, looks like there are no more speed upgrades, though. We do have a predator skill in here, a special ability which allows you to quickly close on an enemy for a chance to sneak kill them. Hold up. So, hold R1, move in for the kill when the red icon is displayed, X is sneak kill when the sneak kill icon is displayed. When within a certain distance behind an unaware enemy, a red icon will be displayed on them. Hold R1 to automatically sprint towards them. When you get close enough, the sneak kill icon will be displayed. Press X to sneak kill the enemy. The attack will fail if the enemy notices you partway through the sprint, so take care to attack from behind. Huh. That sounds interesting. I was a little thrown off by the top level des description of that because it says hold for a chance to kill them and I'm not about like gambling something like that on a chance but I think when they said chance they just meant like it will fail if you don't do it right. I think as long as you do it right it sounds like it'll still work so that might be worth looking at as well. But again I haven't honestly really needed it because <laughs> uh the stealth is just working for me and i can confirm that med kits also cost the same amount whether you're field crafting or at a bench so that's good to know and um let's see i've got eight harpoon bolts uh i've got 17 metal pipes i didn't realize i had that many guys i am actually surprised i guess i lied earlier when I said I had less of those and I had um, nails to make explosive bolts. That's not even true. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and make five of these in here and... Let's go ahead and make some more sniper shots. Let's keep an even ten of those in reserve. That's 50 gunpowder. But I've got it, so whatever. Assault rifle cartridges. Oh, they only cost one? Yeah, that makes sense because they go so quickly. And flamethrower only costs one in here too. Alright. Um, let's... Let's top that off at 60. And then let's make... 
I don't know how much of this stuff I'm gonna find out in the wild is the thing. I probably shouldn't go too crazy with this. Let's make like 20 more though. Just in case. And we still have over 200 uh, gunpowder, so... Yeah, we're fine. We're doing fine. But I should make some more of these smoke bolts too, because damn, they're handy. I'll carry eight of those. Why the hell not? And I think I'm good on that stuff. Now, upgrades. We've got some new weapons to look at upgrades for, guys. And now that I'm in here, it turns out we cannot upgrade the flamethrower, so we don't have to worry about that. Let me just confirm. The revolver is under the applicable weapons section for the pistol, so the upgrades count towards that, except for the ammo capacity. <laughs> and then... Um... Yeah, we can't do anything else with the firepower there. And then there's one in reload time. That's just the moving speed. I don't care about that. Maybe the fire rate would be a good thing to look at, though. That's relatively cheap, and it comes down. It's not a huge upgrade. Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I think instead I'm going to go over to the firepower tree for the assault rifle. And I want to look at the things we can do in here. That's all pretty standard. It seems like most of these max out at 200 times. Not 200 times, 200% of their uh, base firepower. We can take the clip capacity all the way up to 90. Right now it's just at 30. That's probably a really good thing to upgrade, I would assume. And also, that's really cheap, so let me go ahead and just do that right now. I'll grab one of those at least. And then fire rate. <laughs> Look at that. It goes from 0.15 to 0.12, 0.09, all the way down to 0.08. So we can basically cut it in half if we do all those. That doesn't seem like a crazy big upgrade to make. But it is an assault rifle, so I don't know. And then, of course, the reload time. And then this is the one I'm most curious about, firepower. So that's 100 to take it up to 20. I think I'm just going to focus on this really heavy right now. The next one is 200. It goes up to 130. Oh, they require a lot of high-grade parts to get through this tree, though. Or at least to get through the first couple. And then it kind of evens out. So yeah, I think that's going to be a great one to get, though, is the firepower on that guy. So yeah. We'll focus on that probably when we come back with more parts. Alright guys, we've gotten a lot done, but we still have more to do in this game. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you are too. And thank you guys for the support. It means the world to me, and I love you for it. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I will catch you guys when we come back. Take care. Oh, what the fuck is even happening? I don't even know anymore. Ugh.